In this podcast, I shall be explaining the basic concepts of object-oriented programming using Java. I am first going to explain the difference between a class and an object. A class is a description of an object, while an object is an instance of that particular class. Let us consider this example. Consider a person. A person has a number of attributes. For instance, a person has a name, a surname, and an age. Now let us define this class in Java. So I am going to open NetBeans. I'm going to create a new project which I will be using for for these entire podcasts. I'm going to call this project Lessons OOP. And I'm going to create a new class person. And I'm going to remove these comments so that I will have my screen clean. Now, as I have said, a person has a name, a surname, and an age. And I'm going to define these three attributes here in this class. I have defined name and surname as strings, while I have defined the age as an integer. Notice that in front of the variable definitions, I have included the public access modifier. I will explain what public means later on in these podcasts. So here we have the the class person. Now I am going to open my main class. I am also going to remove all of my comments which are generated by NetBeans automatically. And here I am going to create an object person by first defining a variable person, for example, person P. And then I am going to create an instance of that person by writing P equals new person. Notice that now, if I type in the variable name and the dot here, I can choose the attribute. Now I'm going to define the name of this person, for example, Matthew, the surname. and the age and if I run this program obviously nothing is going to happen however the the the, the program is going to create an object person and in this object the program will define the name to the value Matthew, the surname to the value Schwerab, and the age to the value 25. Now, <coughs> what is the difference between defining a variable um, uh, of a particular class and defining a variable having a primitive data type? Consider this example. I'm going to define an integer x, and I'm going to give a value to that integer. Now, when I have defined this variable, what I have done is the following. So here I have class person, and here I have my main 
method and this is the memory as you know the memory is divided into two parts there is the stack and then there is the heap the stack is where the variables are located while the heap is that place in memory where the objects are created now consider this consider this line of code int x equals 8 what is happening here is that an integer variable named x is created on the stack and the value the value 8 is being stored in this variable x then on, on, on the next line here we have person p and as you know here we are creating a variable p of type person however note that in this variable there aren't any values and there is simply a null meaning that this variable contains nothing in the next line of code we are creating an object person by writing new person and basically when when the new person is executed on the heap an object person as you can see here is created now as we have defined previously a name has sorry a person has a name a surname and an age then since we have since we are writing p equals new person this particular object is now being referenced by this variable p like this so basically now p is storing the memory address of where the object person is located on the heap when the next line is executed p dot name equals matthew the value matthew is being stored in the attribute name of this particular object person that is being pointed by variable p as you can see here then we have shwirep which is being stored in the attribute surname of this object and then we have age which is also being stored in this object so this is in reality what happens when we create a very basic class then from our main program we define an instance of that class so in other words we are defining an object of that class and then here we are filling these attributes of this particular object in our case it is a person and this was the first podcast that explain, explains the basics of the difference between an object, a class, and how an object is defined from the main method. For more information, visit our website on www.matchshwerep.com.